I met the training maybe five years ago, and uh, I had a I had a good life. I had a good childhood, and it was safe. And I was trying to accumulate more safety in my life. And only when coming to the center in Sweden, I realized that there was always a subtle struggle to achieve certain circumstances to feel safe and to yeah to feel loved and. It's taken me some time to, to dare to lay those antidotes aside, to dare to trust that there's actually something that is there and stable in every circumstance. And, um, but it was worth the waiting. <laughs> it's like coming to the center in Sweden, I just saw that people were not struggling and I started to cry because I was like, wow, I've been struggling in my life. I just realized that. And uh, it's never been about understanding this practice for me. I was, I, I heard a talk and then I didn't understand anything, but I just realized I should go and see people who does this, then I would know. I would understand by just hanging out with people, knowing that life is already safe. And so I did that and uh, yeah. Just after time, more and more of those things that I really hang on to, like an intimate relationship and yeah, that was a big one actually. When I dared to be on my own, I've noticed that I don't need anyone. I don't need anyone's confirmation. I don't need everybody to like me all the time. It's just that just stopping that effort made me realize, oh, it's already fine. They're not trying to, you're not trying to get me at any point. It's just friends sitting here. And uh, I've started to become a person that I want to meet. It's like I used to be really the victim of everything coming up and, yeah, as I said, trying to be liked by everyone. But just without trying to, I notice that I can be friendly to people and that I can see if there's anything I can do and yeah I would like to meet such a person it's really I didn't understand before that I could be the change I just looked for it anywhere in everyone and for them to assure me that oh but you're trying it's all right and um, my trainer has been very uh, crucial in this uh, you, you, know, you get a trainer after doing that 12 empowerment training and uh, trying to convince her that there's something wrong with me or asking her advice a lot. She always just empowers me back and says, well, Alva, you know, I know that you know. And always this friendly answer, always this respectful answer. And just with time, I, I've come to realize that I'm worth respect. I know, and uh, it's beautiful. I can recommend it. <laughs> and uh, taking short moments is, is kind of subtle for me. It's not like I always remember or, it's more of a, sometimes I remember that, okay, it's fine. Whatever I do, okay, it's fine. And, um, when I don't know and when I try to uh, contrive short moments, I could always, always write the text. That's something that works for me so well. Also attend trainings. I notice that I make so much wiser decisions just after having copied a paragraph out or something. It's like my mind goes elsewhere and I can just da 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 and it's like, oh, there it is. The solution or the, the thing I didn't see when trying so hard. Yeah, and as I said, community. Just having been a person, or I'm still a person that really get, is easily influenced by the environment I spend my time in, I've noticed that putting myself in community circumstances has been so good for me. To just every day like this in community in Goa, being met with respect and love and 
love without having to be a certain way kind of love is so permeating. It's, it's, it's magic. It's really effortless and, uh, and a lot of fun to see what can happen when people focus on what can be done instead of, oh, maybe I feel this or maybe I feel that and maybe I can't. Like service is so big part for me of this community and I used to think I couldn't contribute, that I was nobody, like there was nothing, oh, well, well I shouldn't. But just being involved in service, I, I see that data. I'm here. I could do so many things and I, yeah, I love it. It's, it brings a lot of joy to my life too, to see that I'm, I'm somebody, but I'm nobody also. It's like, <laughs> I don't emphasize the me that really needs to protect myself or need to achieve something. I can just be available. And I like that one. It's nice. <laughs>